for Tom to be shot, it actually then showed McLeish in power for that short amount of time. So then with that, then the development of the story then continued and to transfer his power of, of being president over to McLeish. And you knew that Tom was just not happy about it, especially with all the new revelation that he found out about. I need you to keep an eye on the vice president. Make sure he's working in the country's best interest, not his own. You understand what I'm saying? I do, sir. You're counting on me. I won't let you down, Mr. President. I thought it was really smart to have Tom have Hook Stratton keep her eyes on McLeish because you knew that they had a common understanding that McLeish is not a good guy. So I really liked that. And she just knew. She just knew that there's something going on. Because after all, Hook Stratton was the one who told Tom that Hannah's missing. And she had something on McLeish. So they both know. So I thought that was really good. Won't. He was trained for this. So were you. Brothers in arms, remember? And the mission didn't entirely fail, did it? McLeish's wife is definitely one crazy bitch says that you know what for the time that you are in power let's make the most of it let's stay on track the good news is that you are the vice president so she is pretty wacko and i'm wondering more and more about her if mcleish i think if mcleish left the show a little bit too early the disadvantage would be the fact that we wouldn't know much more about mcleish's wife's character and i would really like the writers to explore that and give us a little bit more about her philosophy and what she, what she's all about. Vice President, I'm advising against this course of action, the strongest of terrorists. No, no, no. I have a duty, sir, to you and the President. You've been there. Yes, you've carried it out. And just to go alongside with it. So I really believe that was just a fake ruse, um, just for them to have a body so that they can move forward and that McLeish can just have his hands washed of this. So I think the sniper, I think that guy who they took a picture with, he's still in the picture. Excuse me. Emily, Emily, wait. Are, are you investigating me? You should wait to talk to the president when he gets back. I'm sorry, I can't say anymore. Aaron, what do I truly think about Aaron? I think Aaron is a good guy. Um, Aaron now realizes that he's being investigated on and people are suspicious of him. I'm wondering about what is he truly hiding. I don't think he is guilty of what they're suspecting him. I think he has another secret that maybe is from the first administration. So I think there's that piece, but I truly don't think that Aaron is a bad guy. And also, come on, let's just let's just think about this. Is that if if Aaron was a bad guy and they got rid of him, well, then how would they continue on with the romantic relationship between Aaron and Emily? We all can tell that there's some major chemistry between these two and that he is wanting to start something with her. Well, we won't be able to go that route because she won't be able to trust him and he'll be out of the picture. So I'm really thinking that he is a good guy just so that we can... Um, so we can have more of Emily and Aaron. Yeah, I really want to see that. Tom confront McLeish and, and for him to say, what the hell do you think you were doing by leaving the markets open? And I know that McLeish will give his reasoning, but Tom's on to him. We know that Tom's on to him. So good job, Tom. Good old Tom. Hannah. Hannah is my girl. Maggie Q. She didn't have much lines in this episode, but you know what? Her silence spoke volumes. Anyone can get an ID like that. Why the hell should I open the door for you? Because if you don't, I'll just kick it in. Yeah, well, convince me. Tell me why I should let you inside. Catlin. I'm really happy that Mike found Chuck and that Hannah was able to get a message to him. So when he went looking for Chuck, I am so glad that they connected and they talked. I think that was the most important thing that had to happen. And that, uh, and for the fact that Chuck, the fact that Chuck was there, he could validate Hannah 
in such a big way that yes, it's been the two of them this whole time. And so now they're forming a team. I love it. I love it. I love it. So what I'm hoping to see is Mike, Chuck, Hannah, those three working together because it's definitely an inside job. So I would like to see maybe a special office set up somewhere that's disconnected from the FBI, from the feds, because you don't know who to trust. They've got people all over the place. You just don't know. So I would like to see that. I love the fact that Chuck told Mike that Callahan and McLeish served on the same unit. And in that expression, when, when Mike said, so you're telling me that the guy who tried to shoot the president and McLeish know each other? And it's like, yeah, I love that. I absolutely love it. Sure enough, here comes Hannah walking in. Oh my gosh. I just have to say, I, I want to be able to just see the whole conversation, but I know that's going to take a lot of time, but I would love to see Tom's expression or just his face to just be able to, to put all the information together. And I would love to see Hannah's reaction with the information that Tom learned and found out, especially with that um, device. So you know what? Here's something I want to see. I want to see Mike give that little chip to chuck to decipher and to put two and two together so i, I want to see that i definitely want to see that the next episode i'm thinking mcleish committed suicide i'm thinking i'm thinking that hannah and her fbi boss went after him and at the last second, he's going to commit suicide because then that means no one's going to give any answers that the secret dies with him. And then they're going to be at a loss again. And there's going to be more digging and digging and digging. Whoever was that person who was hiding in the cabin, um, the fact that he's alive, Kirkman's got to know that. So again, I'm thinking that this truly has to deal with the past administration. So I'm wondering if there's more people out there who have, who actually faked their death. I don't know, maybe it's just a free-for-all that they just decide to cut their laws and they decide to just protect their families and just make it seem like they all died. So I have some questions for you. Who do you think the mastermind is behind all of this? Do you think it's someone in the United States government who who just wants to overthrow the government? Do you think it's a secret society? that is creating all this havoc? Do you think someone's trying to achieve like this one world um, dom domination starting with the United States and maybe their plot is to go from country to country? I don't know. Thanks. Thanks for watching my designated survivor reaction review. Um, share with me your conspiracy theories. I would love to hear it. And um, you know what? We will just keep each other updated. So I'm Jocelyn. Thanks for watching. If you like this, please subscribe to my channel and um, share with me your comments. I will see you next time. Bye.